Hello students, in this video, we will be learning about the noise. Coming to the noise, noise is a unwanted or a random electrical energy which tends to disturb the transmission, reception, reproduction of our wanted signal. The most important parameter in communication system is student, signal to noise ratio, SNR. By depending upon the SNR value, the final quality of reproduction of a signal at the receiver will depend. If SNR value is more, the quality of the final reproduction signal at the receiver is good. SNR is low means quality obviously low it will be there. What is the finally the customers will see? Customers will see how quality it is. Like finally students what will see? How quality the classes are? How much I struggle here? No one will bother. How much quality I am giving? How much it is related to the gate and ES examination? how it is catchy to the student. Like, you transmit one signal from Bhopal to some Jalandhar. Bhopal to Jalandhar, you transmit one signal. So finally, the customer at the Jalandhar, what he wants, the quality of that signal, he has to reproduce, that should be in a good manner. Are you getting my point or not? So here, the meaning you need to understand students, Depending upon this value, final quality of the reconstructed signal or reproduction signal will be there. So the most important parameter or one of the important parameter in communication system is SNR. So in the previous day also I given one definition. If anyone will ask what is the definition of communication system, you can also say that simply communication is nothing but fighting against the noise. Communication is nothing but fighting against the noise. How much effectively we are fighting, that much better value of SNR will be there, that is a better quality of the signal will be there. You can compare AM and FM radios. Now there is no AM radio almost, but FM radio is there because it is having better, better, better characteristics, even in terms of the noise also I told. Got my point? Follow. Coming to this noise, for my classification space is needed, so that's why I'm arising. Coming to this noise, students, this noise is broadly categorized into two parts, sir. One, you can say external noise, noise outside the communication system. Another one is called internal noise. Another one is called internal noise. What is external noise, sir? The noise generated outside the communication system. That is not in the hand of a communication system. External noise is severe and intense. The only the solution for external noise is, uh, you keep your receiver, only the solution for external noise is, keep your receiver to a place where the external noise is less. For example, shower center known for all the people. Shower center is one of the no, low noise, low noise place. So whenever we are keeping the receivers also, mobile towers also, generally keep the places where the noise is relatively low when compared to the other places. That is the only the solution for external noise. And let me clarity explain about the external noise. Next we will go for internal noise. This external noise is broadly categorized into three types, sir. What are the three types of external noises? One is atmosphere, ATM means atmosphere noise. Second one is extra terrestrial noise. Extra terrestrial noise. Next, third one is called industrial noise or generally we can also call man-made noise. Man-made noise. These are the three types. External noise is categorized into atmosphere noise, 
extraterrestrial noise, man-made noise. Follow. What is atmosphere noise? The noise in the earth atmosphere. The electrical disturbance in the earth atmosphere. Means, because of the lightning, thunderbolts, meetos. Meetos means ulkalu. In Hindi, we can call ulka. Are you getting my point? So, because of this, what is the noise is coming is called atmosphere noise. What is the lightning? Lightning is nothing but electrical discharge between two clouds. If the electrical discharge between cloud to earth is called thunder. Between two clouds, lightning. Are you getting my point? Because of this, what is the noise is coming is called atmosphere noise. And the atmosphere noise effect is severe. Atmosphere noise effect is severe up to 30 mega H. Up to 30 mega H, atmosphere noise will be there. And this atmosphere noise is also having another name that is called static noise. It is permanently there. So it is also called static noise. And most of the noise we are receiving in the short wave communication, short wave radio is nothing but this static noise or atmosphere noise only. Above 30 mega H, it effect will be less. Are you getting my point? Main sources for atmosphere noise, lightning, thunderbolts, meters. Effect will be up to 30 mega H. Also called static noise. Done. Next one is extraterrestrial. The name itself, you understand that. What is the meaning of extraterrestrial? It is outside the earth atmosphere. Outside the earth atmosphere. What are the things we are having outside the earth atmosphere? We are having suns and stars. So, this extraterrestrial noise is classified into two types. One is called solar noise. Another one is called cosmic. Because of the stars, cosmic noise. What is the solar noise, sir? The noise due to sun. There is a continuous radioactivity is going on the sun surface. Because of that, that is because of that, what is the noise is coming is called solar noise. There is a one word is there here, sun spot. What is that word? What is called sun spot? What is the sun spot? On the sun surface, where is the radioactivity is more? That is called sunspot. And there is a solar cycle is there. Solar cycle. Solar cycle is 11 years. The meaning is every 11 years, that radioactivity will change. Means the noise offering is also change. That is called solar noise cycle. That is 11 years. You can search also in the Google. You will understand about it. How the uh, how when to when the first cycle, second cycle like that. Next, cosmic noise. Cosmic noise means the noise due to all the stars put together. This noise is also called galactic noise. This noise is also called galactic noise. And here, these two noises affect, external, external terrestrial noise affect, won't be there up to 30 mega H. Why? Because up to 30 mega H, anything is coming, ionosphere will reflect it. So it is not coming to earth atmosphere. It is not coming to earth atmosphere because of the ionosphere. So this noises both will affect will be from 30 mega to 100 mega, sir. It effect is from 30 to 100 mega. Below 30, it is not there because of the ionosphere. It is reflecting that. Next. Come to the man-made noise, sir. This is also called, just now I told, industrial noise. Also called industrial noise means Man-made noise means because of the unwanted electrical pickups. 
from where generators alternators motors and leakages from the transmission lines and electrical pickups from the automobile aircraft ignition systems fluorescent lamps from all these things what is that electrical charge or the disturbance itself is called man made noise most of the man made noise is vertical polarization most of the man made noise is vertical polarization it effect is there from 1 to 500 mega h so that's why in tv transmission also we are using horizontal we are using horizontal polarization we are using horizontal polarization are you getting my point or not this is about the man made noise all those things comes under the external noise coming to the internal noise internally what is generated in the electronic devices and components that itself is called internal noise internal noise is in our hands by taking some precaution in the manufacturing somehow we can decrease the internal noise and in this internal noise the first one is white noise about this white noise i will clearly explain you by taking separately because in the communication system noise analysis white noise is considered because it is existed for all the frequencies ah next one is called flicker noise f l i c k e r flicker noise this flicker noise also called students pink noise also called pink noise color is pink the meaning color is white like that why this uh, flicker noise is coming in this is only in the semiconductor devices for example we are having a pn junction diode sir we are having a pn junction diode sir how pn junction diode is formed <clears throat> by taking p substrate and n substrate n substrate are you getting my point by proper bonding the pn junction diode is formed are you getting my point or not if any if any irregular surfaces on those substrate if any irregular surf surfaces on that substrate and uh, the moment of the electrons will disturb and what is the noise is coming is called flicker noise flicker noise effect is up to up to 500 hz sir flicker noise effect is up to 500 hz means it effect is more at a low frequencies and a noise power is proportional to n is proportional to 1 by f once the question asked in the previously yes examination also that also will show you on the flicker noise remember these points next one we are having partition noise also called junction noise partitions in vacuum tubes junctions in the semiconductor devices this is what because of the junctions or partitions in the devices the movement of the electrons will be disturbed that noise is called partition noise next we are having short noise we are having short noise this is due to dc biasing we can say this is due to dc biasing we can say that short noise is is directly proportional to root e electric charge into ip or ic ip means plate current or ic means collector current last one we are having transient transient time noise what is this transient time noise sir this is at high frequencies this is at high frequencies ha huh. how oh. the high frequency operation of a bjt is controlled by junction capacitances the rise time and fall time the rise time and fall time of junction capacitances 
Are you getting my point or not? For example, if BJT is capable of working up to 100 kilo, you are giving 500 kilo signal, then BJP, then BJT, not BJP, then BJT is unable to respond to that signal, means the BJT will feel that some noise is going on. Means the working of that high frequency, the working model of the BJT is is limited by the junction capacitances and what is the noise is coming is called transient time noise. Of course, we are having these many types of noises. In the designing of communication system, white noise is considered and we will proceed for our calculations. So, I will take about the white noise.